Yeah, man, when you were coming up as a Chicago MC, what were some of your inspirations? What made you, like, really want to rap? Or what artists did you listen to? Like, man, I got to be on that dude's level. Uh, this is the reason why I want to come at this game hard. Man, uh... Man, what were your influences coming it, up? Fucking most deaf. Okay. Quali back in the day. Like, like you know, with this... But like with, with these, you know, hearing it with high tech and shit, and uh, common most definitely. Wow. So like a lot of backpacker shit. Yeah, it was. It, I was man when I first started listening to hip hop. Even in the beginning of my when I first started, you know, actually doing anything and shit in the studio, shit like that. That's what I would listen to the majority of the time. Like a try call quest and shit. KRS One. It's just man. I, I went all the way back to like fucking. I actually used to listen to a lot of Curtis Blow type shit, man. Like, you know, like Old Mel, school, eighties, you know, early nineties, late eighties type of Yeah, thing. like I, I, that's why I thank God I grew up at the age that I grew up in shit, cause I caught all of that. But um, Eminem, most definitely. Uh, I know Biggie hit me, uh, hit me hard and shit, and, and then those, those are just like major artists, like. I wasn't even influenced by a lot of fucking local artists and shit at the time and shit. Like, for example, you and you know your camp and shit, Lee Tactics and shit, fucking BDB, we know with Mars and Pac and all and shit. Yeah, it was it was just awesome. Like, you know, even Shy Hill at the moment too, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are all good ass artists, yeah. especially Lee Tactics. Uh, but anyways, um, if you could do a song with any artist right now, if God came down from heaven and said, "Look, man, I'm gonna get with you. Uh, nice beat." Pick the artist of your choice to be on this one song, dead or alive. Who would you pick and why? Biggie. Okay. I would say Biggie. Toy B I G. Definitely a legend in hip hop culture in general. Definitely taken away from us way too soon. I'm a big Biggie fan uh, myself, but why would you pick Biggie out of everyone in the top? Cause I, one thing I admired off of Biggie was his style, his, a side of his clothes. His, yeah, it's, you know, it was just, he was really fucking comfortable with it, you know? And, and the fact of how his wine scheme was, I found that amazing as shit. Like, it was no A, B, A, B, A, B type shit. You know, it was on some like A, B, C, D, D, A, B, B. You know, it was all all, all over the place. Oh, Y and Z in the mix up. What the hell that came from? Yeah, you know, and it, I found that shit fucking dope. Like, right? I mean, look at who, look who does it now. Eminem does it that shit now. Eminem just fucking, his rhymes can fucking crazy. Eminem is definitely a very talented artist. He's one of the loudest artists out there. Now, Fred, let me ask you another question. I love asking questions. I like to make you think about these things, right? Being an uh, upcoming underground artist, damn near indie, right? Indie, indie on the way to maybe the mainstream. What are some of the pressures a young Hispanic male goes through with your rap artists? What are some of the pressures? What are some of the pros? What are some of the cons? And, uh, that's a question. Yeah, that's a question. That's a question. We'll, we'll, start, we'll start off easy. What are some of the things that people expect from music? Because how many how, how many mixtapes or albums have you dropped? Solo. Well, yeah, solo. Or you know, solo and with other uh, artists. Like this name. I mean, which ones have been solo? Which ones have been with other artists? Solo mix. Solo mixtape. Just one. That was the real recognized real uh, album. The P A Z one, of course. Other mixtapes that I did when I was with Storm Studios, right? I did two of them and shit uh, about that time, and I forgot what the fuck was the other one. So it's at least been at least like four or five different albums, solo. Around albums. six. Around yeah, six. six solo. Yeah. Okay. So now, when uh, someone who knows who MC Fair is knows that you've dropped six projects in solo with, uh, with other artists or other groups or whatever, what are the pressures? What are the expectations that somebody expects from you? Perfection and uh, just continuing the. I don't want to call it. I don't want to call it a trend. Continuing to drop songs or tracks. Consistency. Because yeah, the consistency of being real to myself is shit. Because I, I hear that a lot. And 
compared to like, you know, everything you hear on the radio nowadays and shit. That's just way different. Who do you see uh, MC Fair in five years? What are the plans for MC Fair in five years? Hopefully, if I get there, if I if I accept, you know, the fact of me getting there and I take it and I'm there at that moment, hopefully making a change, you know. Like if you listen to like, you know, right now Ellie Lucky every now and we got like Lil Bitchy Ass Cole, you know, uh, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, you know, like These they, are cats that are coming up mainstream, they're lyrical. They're lyrical, like hopefully make, if, if not make a difference, still make somewhat of a difference that I'm still continuing with them to the, you know, maybe hopefully if they don't work in five years, maybe in 10, 15 years, you know, everybody's got some lyrics and shit, you know, like, it's like, it's like us helping each other try to get that done. And it might happen, because I, I swear to God, everybody I talk to, like, now you listen to the radio more, it's a bunch of off. Nah, I don't listen Nowadays, to that Nowadays, that's just coming out, more lyrical, catchy ass lyrics, because of his mom, that's, that's a hot cat, J. Cole, all that, man. You know what I'm saying? Even all the cats I've been truly here of, man, but coming up little by little off of lyrics, and not just because of a catchy beat. You know what I'm saying? So be on the lookout, man. All that other shit, that popular music is gonna go right back to the white people or whatever. Say, my bad, white people buy my city, it's all good. But just saying, just saying, this hip hop gonna come back, gonna come back. So, any any last words, man? Anything that you wanna tell them? What can they expect from MC Fair, man, after this project? Or, or where can they find you at if they wanna, you know what I'm saying, holler at you? Well, for one, I really feel like people are gonna be, I really feel like you guys are gonna be happy with the new album. I'm really putting a, putting a lot of work into it, a lot of my heart into it and shit. Like so, I like so bad that there's certain times that I get pissed off with myself, and it's like I drive myself crazy because like I want shit to be perfect and shit, and I want to make sure that everybody you know understands me and feels me to the point that it's like damn, like that's crazy, you know. But I really feel like you're gonna be really happy. Just look out for it, man. It's called disposition and shit. Um, but at the moment, you can go ahead. Uh, Find me on iTunes, man. If you got an Android phone on your Android market, Amazon, fucking e music, and well, just what's, you know. What's the search they got? Like for example, me, got it. I'm a fan of MC Fair. I want to find a CD. I go on Amazon.com. What do I do? Just type in MC Fair, and it's E M C E E. The word MC Fair, F A R E. And I'll know, it should, it should come up and shit, like, you know, probably, like, if anything, cop that, uh, cop my album, you know, the first album and shit, the PAZ album, you know, I like, you know, a lot of people like that, I know you will like it as well and shit, if anything, the disposition one, I bet you're gonna like even more and shit, but man, you can find me at Facebook, Reverb Nation, SoundCloud, I don't even know if I still use MySpace, but you still find me on MySpace, <laughs> Fucking big up to MySpace, man. You don't fucking hug me up back in the day, man. Fucking so, Instagram, right. and all that, you know. You'll, you'll find me. Right, right. Well, that's what's up, man. This is the the rap and shit, man. Omega, O to the Mega, and Lee Tactics all day. MC Fair, wish you nothing but love and success, man. Thank Definitely. you, man. Best believe we're going to be working on a lot of different projects. Keep it out to the streets. Peace out.